Hi, this is Dana Arcuri, author, speaker, survivor, and advocate, and I am so excited for the month of December. I have created a theme for December 2020, and it is manifesting your breakthroughs in 30 days. And so this is really exciting that we're going to wrap up the last month of 2020 was something extremely motivational, educational, and with helpful strategies. Each week, there will be different topics. There will be some guest speakers, and we're going to work our way through various specific content to really nail down how to help you manifest your dreams and breakthroughs and turn them into your reality. Now, oftentimes we hear that it takes 30 days to make a habit, something that could really be uh, stand firm in your life, something that's solid, a solid foundation of new beginnings. And so with this month, we're going to have different opportunities to really work through various things within our lives that we would like to see a beautiful breakthrough. And I am so excited to have you join me. Feel free to like, subscribe, sh to share, and let's start the conversation on manifesting breakthroughs. So first we must understand that manifesting a breakthrough, you know, it's this uh, lingo and this term that people use. Some people think it's just new age talk. Oh no, it's not just new age. When you go into the Bible and you start like researching what is manifestation, well, you can end up finding 80 scriptures in the Bible that discuss manifestation. So this isn't just some new age jargon and what have you, but this is something that is actually biblically sound and it is something that we can understand is a big part of turning our dreams and our ideas and our hopes and plans into fruitation, to see things blossom. And this is a great way to end 2020. And so I'm excited to say that when we attract abundance into our life, you know, we're looking for different things. We're looking for peace. We're looking for healthier relationships. We're working towards positive streams of income, you know, total prosperity that is overflowing. You know, the whole thing with sensing that there is a breakthrough on the way and understanding that when we really get serious about turning our dreams into reality, that we can make it happen. But there's a lot of different strategies involved and that's why I will be helping you with each video and different discussions. We'll be focusing on certain topics that all pertain to manifesting your breakthroughs and preparing for 2021 and the great things that are about to unfold. And so I'm really excited about it. I'm going to start with discussing what is manifesting. So for those who are unaware, manifestation means to create something or transform an idea into a reality. So you are readily perceiving by your senses, especially the sense of sight. So vision and being visionary is a very, very big part of manifesting your breakthroughs. Then when we look at, okay, let's talk about breakthroughs. What is a breakthrough? Well, according to freedictionary.com, they say that breakthrough is an act of overcoming an obstacle or restriction. And when you have a breakthrough, it's a major achievement and success that permits further progress. And that's what we want. It's all about self-growth, personal growth, professional growth, relationship growth. So it's all about transforming ourselves and growing and leaving our comfort zone. And we are going to start with a few examples of what are a few ways we could have breakthroughs. And keep in mind, you and I might be totally different, different people, different personalities. I'm an extrovert. You might be an introvert or an ambivert. And so each of us may go about this different 
And there's no set one way to manifest a breakthrough. And there's no just one set idea. So really, the sky's the limit, people. The sky is the limit. But here are a few examples just to give you an idea about breakthroughs. So some people might be looking for their dream job. Another person may be hoping to relocate to a totally different area. Another person really wants to manifest meeting their soulmate, the love of their life. Another person might be wanting to improve their physical and emotional health and they want to manifest some major healing in their lives. And another idea is that you might want to start a new business endeavor and manifest your own self-employment. So that's extremely exhilarating and exciting and something to celebrate, especially when it does come to fruitation. Now we can understand that there are so many different ways to get down into the nitty gritty of manifestation. And that is why we're going to use the entire month of December so we can have many different videos that are covering all of the important aspects of manifestation and having breakthroughs. So this first video, so of course December 1st, this is our first video on it. This is more guiding you, helping you, and giving you some tips. The next video and from there on out, we'll be getting more into nailing down specifics. And we'll have these topics that will be revolving around relationships, health, prosperity, career, income, and abundance flowing into your life. And on and on and on it goes because, again, the sky is the limit. So we must understand that to manifest our heart desires, it takes, number one, being specific. For example, if you don't know what you want and you feel stuck, you cannot manifest because you are unclear. So clarity and focus and defining what you want is really crucial for this month of December when you join 30 days of manifesting your breakthrough. Number one, visualize that it already happened. So visualization is so powerful. Whether you're like laying down and you're resting or you're just sitting comfortable in a chair, close your eyes and imagine yourself visualize what it is you want and visualize it actually taking place. So let's just give an example. Let's say that you have a dream that you would like to go on a Caribbean cruise. And so you close your eyes and you're envisioning that you're packing for the cruise. You're preparing for the cruise. You already purchased your cruise ticket. Um, if you're going alone, fine. If you're going with someone else or a bunch of people, Put them into this visual in your mind, all the people involved. Um, maybe you could picture the beautiful blue ocean and you can hear the waves and you could hear the seagulls and you could smell the salty ocean. So you're using a lot of, you know, the sight, the senses, uh, the aromas. You know, you, you hear the seagulls, you could smell the salty ocean. You could see yourself walking barefoot along the beach and you could feel. So even when we're doing this, we're sensing, how do I feel? What's the emotion? And you could feel the peace wash over you. You could feel the joy that you're so happy to have this opportunity to go on this beautiful cruise to this faraway island and that you are enriching your life. You're meeting new people from all walks of life. Maybe you're ma meeting someone and it will become a very beautiful connection with another human being. So this is what it's all about, visualization. For another person, it might be that they would like 
to start a new business. And let's just say that they've loved cooking their whole life. They've just been so gifted at it. They have a real niche for it and everybody raves about their cooking. And so they decided, that's it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to start my own business. And they decide to do this. And so you close your eyes when you're visualizing that you're going to become a cook, that you're going to start your own business. And you start putting all the pieces together as if it already happened, that it's done, that you have brought your dream into reality. And this is what's super powerful because when we see it, we believe it. And when we believe it, it can happen. You know, it's, it's really something like mind over matter. It really is about the power of positive thinking and that we're going to take action steps also. For now that we're talking about visualization, and we're also talking about, so this is number two, clearly see in your mind what your breakthrough looks like, what it feels like. Um, perhaps it feels easy, okay? Easy, as in everything just kind of smoothly fell into place. And it's like God has favor upon you. And just like that, boom, 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 everything just falls into place. And before you know it, you are doing what you dreamed that could have been impossible, but now you made it come true because you put thought into action and you started visualizing and you started taking some action steps, which we'll go into on other videos on how to move into action because, you know, it's all about taking a step out of your comfort zone. Number three, we're gonna talk about vision boards because vision boards are a way to have a daily reminder of what you would like to manifest. And so for some people, this month is the perfect time for you to be creative, go to the craft store, buy the different items that you need, the poster board, the glue gun, the little little um, images and pictures and words and anything that your heart desires that all revolves around what you would like to manifest. And so for an example, I'll give an example of what I have done in the past. So in the past, when I knew that I wanted to write a book and I knew that I was being nudged to do this and I was leaving my comfort zone because some of the books that I've written, I really step way out there. I speak about unspeakable things. I write about sometimes hard topics that people don't always want to talk about. However, however, when I'm doing this, I start a I start this vision board. And so I go to Joanne Fabric or Michael's or whatever craft store locally. I buy all kinds of things that are to do with my topic. And I also use my printer because what I'll do is, for an example, I'll have the actual image of my book cover and at least the idea of what type of image I want for my book cover. And I will find this image online and then I will snap a picture and then I will print it out. So I'll print out this picture so I could put this picture on my vision board. So every day I am seeing the picture of what is going to be the book cover. And it is like super exciting because then I'm opening up the doors of opportunity for this to happen, to come into fruitation. And then I'll have different words. I might have the word prosperity. I might have the word favor. I might have the word hope. I might have the word, you go girl, you know, different things. I might have little pictures of things that are to do with me and my life. You know, there might be a typewriter on or a computer. Um, there might be even a cup of coffee to remind me that it's okay if I need to drink a little caffeine while I get my fingers typing away on my computer as I write my book. So oftentimes, when I am manifesting something new, I'll create a vision board and I have different vision boards. So there's different themes, but what you do is you choose at least one or two themes for your vision board, whether it's a dream vacation, a dream job, uh, your future soulmate, a, a possible marriage, um, relocating, friendships, weight loss, good health, 
peace, hope. I mean, really it is endless. But what you do is you really collect everything you need and you start having fun. And that's what I love about vision boards is it's fun. It's fun to get creative. It's fun to be artsy. So I, I blast my music and a lot of times my, my girls will join me and they'll start their vision board and we'll have a really great time. And then the end result is it's, it's this beautiful vision board with all these reminders. And so every day I look at my vision board and I'm reminded this is my dream and I can do this. And this is so empowering and I'm so excited. And it just reminds me to go for it every day to take one step forward. And so that's what I want you to do. And if for you, if you are a creative person, a vision board could be a perfect fit for you. So think about this. And if you'd like, you know, to have me answer any questions or if you have any food for thought, feel free to share it in the comments. Next is number four. So we speak out loud what we want to manifest. So whatever this breakthrough is that we have this idea about, we are not just thinking about it, we're speaking it out. So it's powerful to speak out loud. And sometimes it could be in the form of affirmations. Other times it could simply be uh, speaking, I am a, I am a best-selling published author. I am a award-winning chef, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, again, the sky's the limit. Think of what you could want and what you could wish for and what you could pray for and the breakthrough you would like to see happen and start speaking it out loud. So we use daily affirmations in the present tense. And, and so we want to really focus on these powerful words and positivity. So here's just a few examples. Someone might say, with ease, I attract more money. I have the courage to improve my relationships. I welcome exciting new opportunities. And then you could go on into more specifics about which opportunity it is that you want. It's very important that we're extremely specific when we are creating and manifesting a breakthrough. So we really do need crystal clear clarity and that is imperative. Um, so here is a list um, that is important and it's called a manifestation list. So I am going to give you a homework assignment. Don't think of it as a chore. Think of it as something fun. Think of it as the beginning of your breakthrough. So for your manifestation list, what you're going to do is get a journal, a tablet, something that you could write on, and this could be something you could be working on for the month of December. And what you're going to do is you're going to write your intentions. What are you intending to do? How are you going to manifest this? So you need to think about number one, let's be clear. What do I want to manifest? What breakthrough am I looking for? What am I after? What is my dream? What is my wish? What would I like to see come into my life? And you're going to write a list and I call it the manifestation list. So you need to determine your wants versus your needs and you, you need to make sure that this is what you want, not what someone else is telling you that you should do. So it's all about you and what you would really, really, really love to see become your reality this year. Next would be we leave our comfort zone. It's so important to really step out because taking a risk is a vital component to manifesting breakthroughs. Next is believe you can and you're halfway there. And if you look behind me, right up there at the green little sign, that's what it says. It says believe you can and you're halfway there. And this is the truth. You know, when we believe we can do something, it produces positive change. It opens up new doors of opportunities, new endeavors, new beautiful experiences. And this is so wonderful. Next is number eight, reduce limited 
false beliefs because oftentimes we are not even aware that we have limited beliefs or false beliefs. Sometimes we were ingrained to be brainwashed into thinking things that aren't even the reality of our life. So we have to understand that there are times we silently say things that might be sabotaging our manifestation of breakthroughs. So we need to get out of our own way. We need to be aware of if we have limited and false beliefs. So this is vital. Pay attention to what you are silently. You know, it's something that you're not always speaking out loud, but something in your head might be saying something and it's super negative and it's sabotaging you from blessings. So we really need to build awareness on what are each one of ours different negative beliefs, false beliefs, limited beliefs, and we need to kick it to the curb, people. So this is really important because it's these false beliefs and um, very limited beliefs that can actually prevent us from manifesting anything in our lives. So it's really important that we work on this. So here's a list of some limited beliefs. Someone might say, and it might not be out loud. Again, someone might say this, but they might be saying it to themselves or they might catch themselves saying it to someone. They might say, well, I don't have the extra money to do that. Well, I don't deserve love. Well, I can't succeed because dot, 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 fill in the blank. Or they might say, well, I don't have that skill. So say someone wants to get into becoming a mechanic and they're like, but I don't have that skill, but I really wanna do it. I'm really good with my hands. I think I can do it but I don't know if I have that skill. Well, I'm not sure. Well, you know what? That could be a false belief. That could be something that someone just said to you when you were young and it somehow stuck there and then you, you lost faith in your own self. Part of reaching amazing accomplishments and achievements and success is to know that we can accomplish anything that we set our minds on. The power of the mind is absolutely supernatural and empowering what we think comes into being it really is so if you think you can't you probably won't if you think you can't oh yeah you will next number 10 daily reaffirm the opposite of your limited beliefs so if you find yourself constantly thinking something negative like well i don't i don't deserve this or i don't deserve that or i don't know how to do this or how to do that you need to switch it to the opposite and start saying to yourself, I can do such and such. And you need to really start researching and looking into how you can improve your skills, how you can improve your knowledge, maybe gain more education. Uh, you know, for some of you, you might choose to do it, go back to school. Some of you might know that that's something you've wanted all along, but you just felt scared and you felt fearful, especially in 2020 with a lockdown. But if you really believe that getting that special skill, if it's important to you, getting that diploma, getting whatever talent and necessary education you need to improve your income and reach, you know, that place of gaining a dream job, then start looking outside the box, start thinking of different ways that you can have a new way to learn, even if it's online learning. You know, at this point, a lot of people are doing distance learning and it's working really well. So again, start thinking of the things that you can do, focus on what you can do, try not to worry about what you can't do. Next is write a bucket list. Now, when we think of bucket lists, we often think of something like way off in the distance, something that we don't know if we would ever achieve, but we start thinking that, wow, wouldn't it be nice if I could go skydiving? Wouldn't it be nice if I could go whitewater rafting? Wouldn't it be awesome if I could start a women's conference? Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could join a band? You know, so everyone has all these different ideas and things that they would love to see happen, but sometimes we just call it a bucket list and we never do anything about it. But for this December, 30 days of manifesting your breakthrough, we want to make it happen. We want to draw closer to making our dreams become reality. So 
go ahead, write a bucket list, whether it's five things or 10 things. Consider everything near and dear to your heart, something for your entire life you've always wished for, you've always hoped for, you've always prayed for, and you really want to see it happen. You want at least one thing on your bucket list to come true. And it begins by writing it down. So oftentimes when we are speaking our breakthrough, we're speaking it out, what we're going to have a breakthrough with, what we're manifesting. We're going to envision it. We're going to speak it. We're going to see it because we're writing it down. So we're getting all the senses involved. And this is really vital so we can produce amazing accomplishments. Next is this wonderful quote. And many of us have heard of this quote and I love it. And I think that it's just a little reminder to give us inspiration and encouragement. And it's um, by a woman named Erin Hansen. And she says, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And I think that is so powerful that, you know, instead of thinking, what if I fall? And what if I fail? And what if I don't succeed? And what if it goes wrong? Instead, what if it goes right? What if you succeed? What if your dreams come true? What if you end up tripling your income? What if you meet your soulmate? What if you heal those broken relationships? What if you end up writing that book? What if you do join a band and somehow you make it big, big, big? You know, so there is amazing, amazing things ahead of us in which we can manifest anything on earth that we desire, anything positive. And this month, I would love to help you. Join me for 30 days of manifesting your breakthroughs. Share with me, have you ever done manifestation before? Number two, what would you like to have a breakthrough on? If there's just even one thing that is your heart's desire, what would it be? And lastly, share with me if you've ever experienced manifestation and breakthroughs. Share with me your story. Share with me how you did it. If you have a special way of manifesting your own dreams into reality, I'd love for you to share your own tips with the rest of us. And the meanwhile, you can join me each week. I will have a few different guest speakers who will be sharing how they manifested their own breakthroughs and we'll have various topics each week that will continue this conversation with us and strategies and tips to help you manifest your breakthroughs, especially for the year 2021. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share, and have an awesome day.